everybody this is marzi and i'm back here with another word of story make sure you guys come join me on the journey i post word of stories every single day you guys like comment subscribe subscribing is free i'm on the road to 1k subscribers i'm at 981 right now so i just need about 19 people subscribing just to hit 1k so come join me on this journey y'all make sure you guys watch all the way to the end share this video you know do everything that you gotta do and i got here a little bit of a relationship story a little bit of you know relationship advice i guess technically but we got female 32 years old my boyfriend, who is 37, of two years, blocked me on everything today over something that happened 10 plus years ago. Now, based off that title, 10 plus years is a long time. But if it had something to do with cheating or somebody, a certain person involved in some sort of cheating, I might, I would might have to do the same thing. But let's see. We got, my friend told a stupid story about me from 10 plus years ago. My boyfriend is apparently dumping me over it. Ooh, I'll beat my friend up, but let's see the story first. <laughs> we got, I've, 32, have been dating my boyfriend, 37, for almost two years. Up until last weekend, I thought this was the man I was going to marry. We talk about marriage, kids, everything. I was supposed to, oh, okay, sorry, I was like, hold on, how long were they together for? Sorry, we read that, two years, okay. I was supposed to move into his house when my lease was up in June. It's not an exaggeration to say that I've thought about our lives 40 plus years into the future. We love each other so much. On a night out this weekend, a friend of mine told an unflattering story about me that happened over 10 years ago. The kind of story you should be able to laugh about in adulthood and wistfully say, oh, to be young again. Or those crazy college nights in which is what everyone has, um, what everyone who heard the story had said. Except my boyfriend. It's like a switch flipped in him. He literally started hating me from the moment onward. He talked to me through gritted teeth the rest of the night, all while insisting everything's fine. We didn't have sex that night. He gave me one word responses all day Sunday and ignored me all day Monday. Well, first of all, that's just a really immature boyfriend. Okay, but let's continue. Right, Cause I want to hear the story, girl. Like, come on. And now today he sends me a text today saying we're done and blocks me on everything. Didn't even give me a chance to respond. I basically cried the entire evening. It is now 3.40 a.m. and I'm calling in sick tomorrow. I can't just let him walk out of my life like this, but he's giving me no options to contact him. I don't want to knock on his door unannounced and confront him like a crazy person. The only thing I could think of is writing him a note and putting it in the mail. Um, this isn't normal behavior on his part, <clears throat> right? How can I talk to him and convince him that he's doing what he's doing is crazy and I'm so heartbroken that he's never acted like this. Um <clears throat> I feel like I would have to hear about what you did 10 plus years ago. You know what I'm saying? Because like I like there's certain things that I feel like you could let go because it's always been in the past. But if it's like something you don't know, like let's say I find out like my girlfriend's a hoe. I'll be like, well, damn girl, you could not have told me that. Like I asked you that question and now you now now I'm hearing this from this person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it, it depends on if it was something like that, where it was like they asked and like, there was just, we need more context. I'm confused. Like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like, girl, you can't just give it like that. I don't know. Someone put, what is the story? If it's extreme of reaction, we need to know the context, unfortunately. OP responded saying the short story version of it is I met a guy at the bar, planned on hooking up with him, but he was too drunk. So I went back to the bar, walking distance from my apartment, met another guy and hooked up with him instead. There were some details in leaving out, but that's the most agrarious part also i had just gone out of an ltr and was very drunk myself a long-term relationship okay i'm like what the hell is an ltr somehow i feel like it's not a complete story isn't isn't she admitted lower down that she only passed off on the first drunk guy because he was so drunk when she brought him home that he couldn't get hard the story's coming together now lol may i say yikes i don't know though i feel like that still isn't that still isn't like, I, I don't know. I feel like I need to hear more then. It says, if he's blocked you and everything, he's no longer your boyfriend. I mean, I get you're embarrassed. I'm like, well, at the end of the day, the only thing I could say is because I don't, what I don't know is the story. Uh, at the end of the day, he's a grown man. So if he wants to leave you for it, you got to let him leave. Um, but I don't know. I feel like based on that, if that is the truth, even so, if you passed up on the first guy, because it was like, you, it was 10 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't like, you sat there and killed somebody or you like were domestic like you was beating people up or you were i don't know like you, it, you just were single like sleeping around but maybe maybe there's more to the story that i'm just confused about um i don't know so if you want advice you're going to have to tell us the whole story i find it strange that your partner can walk out of a two-year relationship because of a stupid story that's what i'm saying so it must be something deeper um, so to turn this back to your original question, I'm sorry to say that there's no way to get him back. He stayed away, thought about it for a day, and decided it was over. That's perfectly within his rights to do so. Exactly. Says, so come on now. There's no way you really think you can ask for opinions without telling us a story. Um, 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Basically, we didn't we didn't really get the story. I guess she never really said what the story was. Um, but I'm assuming there must have been something that he just truly didn't mess with. Like maybe the way that she explained it that wasn't what the story was, or she gave us like a really light version of the story. Uh, because like I said, with that light version of the story, it seems like she's not wrong. But then that could be her whole point. She probably wants to not be wrong, right? Um, but at the end of the day, I guess the only thing I can say is that if he left you, he left you, bro. Like, even if he's wrong, like, you can't, you can't just confront him and be like, bro, you shouldn't be hurt about that. You should not be hurt. And then he's going to come back. Like, regardless, he made his decision. He's gone. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to end this video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, and peace.